welcome back to my channel. So what we're starting with in this video is the pre-drawn eyebrow shape. If you need information on how to draw an eyebrow shape, please review the link in the description below. So what I like to do before I draw hair strokes is lightly erase my outline. Therefore, it's not like individual lines drawn in a box, but we're trying to draw a realistic eyebrow with eyebrow hairs. So we're going to begin by drawing the spine line of our eyebrow from the lower arch point up to the bulb. And I call these wave strokes. I like to take these off of the spine line. And I draw anywhere from four or five of these, depending on how long the eyebrow is on a client. These are my main foundational hair strokes. Now I'm going to draw hair strokes leading from the tail up to the upper arch point. And although this looks like a really long line, we're going to have additional secondary strokes coming off of these lines. So it won't look like just a single line in the end. So I like to thicken the center of these hairs. As natural hairs, that's where the thickest region is. I like to draw the front strokes as C strokes and with hair strokes created with machine, we can overlap strokes. This will give the appearance of more realistic hair as hair does overlap. And I like to call these fire strokes. These are connection strokes or secondary strokes that I branch off from my primary lines or wave lines. And then I also will draw additional wave lines coming off of these same connection points in the spine. So what I'm doing is I'm thickening and darkening some of these connection points in the main body of the eyebrow. This is where the densest hairs grow in natural eyebrows. So now I'm going to branch off these connection points from these strokes in the tail to the arch. So what I'm doing now is just adding more depth and more darkness to the connection points. And in the main body of the eyebrow, I'm adding more darkness as well. So now our eyebrow is beginning to take shape by adding more darkness and density throughout the eyebrow at the connection points. And I'm doing this more with like a shading motion to add this on the hair strokes and I will add some more darkness in between the hair strokes. All right, well, thank you for watching. This is the finished product, and this style is very popular um, among many artists. I will be presenting you with other styles in the upcoming videos, so please subscribe, like, and follow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.